Hi everyone. So we're gonna make this video. It's another one of these shit posting videos. Aha. And every now and then someone makes a comment like, hey, it'd be cool if you could zoom in further so we could read the cards. So first, this video is in 4K. All the videos on the main camera are in 4K. And why I'm telling you that is because I've tried this. I blow it up on my TV in my <laughs> living room and I can literally read the cards. Uh, the, the backup camera is only 1080p, so I can't say the same, I can't make the same claim for that camera. But people need to understand that there's this thing called aspect ratio, 16-9 aspect ratio. So yes, I can zoom the camera in much further, but then you lose the top and the bottom because of aspect ratio. And I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna demonstrate it right now. So I'm gonna zoom in, oh look, you can read the card, but you it's, can't see anything else. It's a tree folk. Yeah, you can't see anything else. And if How, I back out- What's power though? You don't know. If I because, back out here- Because you gotta count these. You can see, if I go in at all, you lose the battlefield. What do you mean? This stuff up here? Like your life yeah. total? Yeah, life totals, etc. Uh, yeah, so, uh. and another question we get a, a lot, asked a lot is, what's the playmat? <laughs> <laughs> so it is from Inked Gaming, and it's the two-player playmat, and I just made the layout in GIMP or Photoshop, whatever you have. Um, but it's 24 inches wide. Uh, going from Garrison's left to right, 24 inches. And going across the table, it's 28 inches. Uh, and so that's the size of two standard play mats back to back. Or front side to side. Side to side, whatever. whatever yeah. um, so, like, there isn't a different way you can do the camera so that you have more aspect ratio or more battlefield zoomed in without losing the top and the bottom because you can't expect players to play in a 12 inch wide zone. Yeah. Uh, so, you just can't do it. But if you play enough standard, or if we did a different format, spoiler alert, we're going to be doing Pioneer pretty soon yeah. here uh, for a DreamHack RCQ, Regional Champions Qualifier. Yeah, RCQ, yeah. those are the right <laughs> letters. Um, so if you play the format enough, you just start to learn what the cards look like, and you can recognize them. So zooming in really isn't that necessary. I guess another thing to note is that there's a lot of people that play with, like, or that watch with sound off. Yeah, or on their phone. Yeah. If you're watching on your phone, I can totally understand like not being able to tell what stuff is. Yeah. But, but again, on because everybody says what they're playing most of the time, yeah. Yeah. And like even watching like a Twitch stream on my phone while we're in the car, mm -hmm. like I can still tell what cards are. So like you just start to learn the cards after a while. The other thing that's been is uh can you give like a, a top down Oh yeah, here let me let me do that. So let me just uh, so so you know. Let me. What, what we got so here? We've got a tripod got set up. Twelve foot ceilings. Uh, at least. I think yeah. So <laughs> um, and it's a drop ceiling. Yeah. Uh, straight up there. So there's nothing to hook anything to. Nope. And this all all this stuff gets set up. And, and then taken torn down. down. Yeah. Every Friday every I Friday. set it up and take it down again. So like I can do this. <laughs> Almost knocked the microphone over, and you know, like. Oh no, you're not. You're not there yet. You gotta. Not, like, not there yet. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm almost. holding it in place, and at that point, you probably get a lot of glare from the overhead lights on the ceiling too. So it's like, well, you, it's glare from the overhead lights, or you get a shadow that gets yeah. cast and cre like, you know, created the, from the, stand the places we've there. decided to put these cameras. Both this one and the backup is like right between two banks of overhead lights, so you don't get glare from them too badly. Yep. And as soon as you move it somewhere else, you get tons of, tons and of so, glare. And so, and then people don't think about the fact. It's like, so we actually went through a couple different like iterations of where things. Oh were. yeah, we set things and, up yeah. in different spots all around the store, and this was just the easiest to set up and the best picture. Yep, and it happened to be it was like we even tried the like Matt and I played non glare sleeves, and you got glare no yeah. matter where you were with the way that it. So there, yep. there's no like perfect way to do it. So in conclusion, we've already done a whole bunch of different <laughs> iterations and figure out what works best for us. So please don't make suggestions if we're not asking for them. And that goes for anything, really. Like if people aren't asking for suggestions, they probably don't want them. Constructive criticism. Note, I say constructive yeah. criticism and not being a complete. Mm, it's not the, 30, the intro 30 seconds, so you can drop F-bombs now. No, I was gonna say not not being the complete asshole about it, like, is is welcomed, but like if somebody, you don't gotta be. A, you can say it. No, I don't really want to say it. Okay. Because it made me feel bad. Somebody takes offense to it. Like everyone will take offense. I'm to sure it. they will. Just.
Just don't be a there, dumbass. It doesn't matter what you're trying to say. It matters how you're trying to say it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But again, I'm going to reiterate this. If like, So we've been making videos here in the store for eight years, I think. I have no idea. As long as I've been here. Like, I'm putting in the amount of effort I'm willing to put in. I'm not going to edit videos all weekend. I'm not going to do all this extra work. So, like, I'm not, like, if I was asking people, hey, what could I do differently, then I would welcome, like, ideas, and I would want to brainstorm about that. But I've already figured out what I'm willing well, to put into it. And it's people have talked about commentary, you know, overlaying commentary oh, over, like. That's so much extra work. So, the thing about it is, you do a voiceover for every match, there's a minimum of six games. Yep. Every Friday and some night. of them are an hour. Correct. So, that takes time. So, you so you're watching the video in real time yep. and adding commentary, yep. and then you're editing the video. Taking time to do got so. Got to encode it again yep. in 4K, mind you. And and, and then I people, can't upload them at home. And other people have said, well, you know, just uh, if, you, if you just have a section somewhere else on the, uh, you know, where, you know, people can watch it, like, on a monitor, and then they can do commentary while it's actually going on, um, I'm... I'm a little torn myself by that because... Hey, would you like to be free labor for me for four hours yeah. every single Friday? So so who does the commentary? Is it Matt and I that do commentary? I don't even work here. Like, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Everyone I have thinks you nothing do. to do with this store other than my best friend happens to work here and run Friday Night Magic. And I enjoy being here and they're, you know, my friends are here so we get to have a good time. And like that's another big portion of this, right? So if you're in a booth... Like, say I'm in a booth one round, and then Matt's in a booth one round. Round ends. Like, there's no time to just converse, have fun. You're constantly oh, and shuffling I'll, and doing different things. Also point out that as the TO and playing and running <laughs> videos and, like, having to take down everything at yeah. the end of the night, set it up at the beginning of the night, like, I also don't get that cool down in between rounds. There's also nowhere here that's soundproof. That's true. We have or, three booths that are 15 feet that way, 20 feet that way, that don't have ceilings on them. The places that are soundproof are in a secured area. Yeah. So it's, just not, it's not even soundproof. It's just straight up on the other side of a wall yeah. behind a locked door. Yeah. Um, so it's not even an option. Yeah. So appreciate your thoughts, but... We aren't, we aren't asking for yeah, them. This is, this, is just where, <laughs> this is just where this is all at. Not right? trying to be rude, but we're not asking for them. And, and like Matt and, and I have definitely I, talked about it all. Yes, yeah, we've, all, all, we've already had these discussions. And I will also point out that the second that I do edit a video and add an, a commentary overlay, someone will complain that they want to hear the table talk. Yep. And if I edited the video to add splashes for all the cards that come up on screen, yeah. someone will complain that I'm blocking part of the battlefield or something. So... And then I guess here's the difference. <laughs> the budget for this <laughs> is literally what Matt takes out of his pocket and wants to put into it, which is already a significant amount with I bought a, little but, to no I, return. Yeah, I built a stream PC. Yep. It's got an RTX 3070 in it for encoding, and I bought a 4K the camera. camera. Bought all the yep. cabling, the microphones, yep. bought a Yeti. Like I bought all this stuff just to make videos, and I will let you in on a little secret here. YouTube ad revenue is not that high when you're getting 500 to 1,000 views per video. And it's not to say that the views and you know and the good comments, the nice comments and stuff aren't appreciated because they are. They are. They, they very if, much are. If I didn't want to make content, I wouldn't. Yep. And there's been some times where things have gotten to the point where it's just been like, this is not it. This is not what it wants to be. But Matt still decides to come back so that we have something to do. And I feel like even here, there'd be, a, it'd be less, it'd be more like it's a group gathering. You know, like you might as well do it as a house. If we're not having fun making videos and then joking about the fact that nobody ever wants to watch their own videos because the <laughs> <'Cause> they <laughs> read the comments. <laughs> yeah. That's right. First, 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 rule. first night that there's a new player, I always tell them, if you don't want to play on camera, you don't have to. But if you do, don't read the comments. <laughs> Just don't do it. Yeah. So. so I think that's everything we want to talk about, right? I believe so. All right. Well, if you watch this entire video, thank you for watching it. Feel yes. free to leave a comment below. Hopefully, we didn't offend anybody too much. And if you want to see some more shit posting videos, <laughs> let us this know. This is actually the, we have uh, yeah. fun making these. Yeah, this has been the last couple that have we made have actually been uh, 
good, nice change of pace yeah. from the other stuff that we've done. All right, so. thanks for watching, everyone.